Hello YouTube, as I promised in my review of this little drone, a uh, little hexacopter i drone i6s. Uh, in this video, I will show you my test flight, share my impressions, and show you the footage and the still image that this little drone shoots. So let's check it out. Talking to my daughter not to go in front of me. And here we go. It's pretty fast, even in the low rates. The range is much better than advertised. And I didn't notice the blinking lights. Ne, ugasila se nema baterije. Puf. It felt from at least 50 meters of height and it survived. Butter is dead, you moron. And it survived again. So as you have seen, I didn't notice that the lights on the drone were blinking and my battery was dead. And after that, I have discovered that my particular unit has some issues with the charger. Here is the charger, so I will show you now what the problem is. So let's check the instructions. So the light on the charger should be on when it is charging. And when the charger charging is finished, the light should go off. And now check what happened with my unit. When I plug the charger alone into the USB port, the light turns on and the charger is not connected to the drone. When I connect it to the drone, it goes off. So I have decided to leave it connected for a while. And as you will see now, the drone is charged. So definitely something is wrong with the charger. It is charging, but the light works opposite from the way it should. So it's not... The light is not on when it is charging and also nothing happened after a couple of hours so here is my second attempt this time i take care that the camera is on
and as you see the camera indicator blinks with red light which means it's recording I find it very difficult to fly for beginners uh, even in low rates because it's a hex it's all black even with lights on for me it's difficult to define where is the front and where is the back of the drone and with all my attention to that I get lost with the throttle so I find it hard to retain altitude but it's very nimble and for experienced flyers it will be a very interesting toy. The camera and the video quality is not so bad as you can see but the still images are not so good. Here are some examples of still images. So my conclusion, it's a great little hex for experienced flyers, it will be a very fun toy, it's very nimble, very fast, even in low rates, but for unexperienced flyers like I am, but for beginners my suggestion would be go for something like this, this is Cheerson CX. 10D which has altitude hold, it's one of the smallest quads in the world and it's also very nimble, very fun and very easy to fly even for beginners because it has altitude hold so you don't need to bother with altitude, it retains altitude wherever you leave it and you can have a great fun with it. Or maybe better solution go for the Cheerson CX-10WD uh, which has also a camera and altitude hold which by the way will be my next mini quad for review so stay tuned